hello everyone welcome back to bplo interview tutorials and first of all happy dhantaresh to everyone guys uh, be safe and uh, celebrate diwali with uh, low pollution and please please do that and um, because of this big others are getting impacted so welcome back guys uh, so today we came up with an another topic uh, that is related to again a six sigma certification uh, and uh, before moving to the video i would like everyone to please do share subscribe the channel click on bell icon guys so that you guys can get the notification click on subscribe option and you can also help me with the thanks option guys which will motivate me and uh, i can come up with more more upcoming videos on all the topics which you guys are looking for so today we came up with an uh, amazing topic that is known as fmea i believe many of you them have uh, also worked on it you may have prepared um, projects also so totally it is related to the six sigma and i have seen like operations quality even even uh, training teams are also using this so what is fmea fmea stands for failure mode effect analysis we will see in detail guys what are the type of fmea how to do that uh, do we require to do any calculation everything i will cover in this particular video so let's start with the definition of FMEA which is known as failure mode effect analysis which is also known as potential mode effect analysis. If you get a question in interview and if they are asking like what do you understand by FMEA guys watch out my video learn all the all the points you will give this answer very easily. Now so it is a step by step approach guys uh, to identify where are the failures where are the defects is there any uh, defect in the process if there is any defect in the system there is a defect in the uh, function like wherever it is if you want to identify we will use this particular fmea and this is also known as a process analysis tool so we will divide this failure mode and effect analysis in a two parts the first we will discuss about the failure mode failure failure mode let, let's consider a calling process wherein the avaya is not working avaya wherein the associates or employees are taking the call so this is a failure guys this is a failure mode where because of that the customer is getting impacted maybe a few calls may also get uh, disconnected because of this so here fme help us to understand the failure before it can occur okay so you may also identify the defects and you can work on it okay so this is a failure mode now what is the effect uh, so to understand because of this failure what will be the consequences so to to do this particular analysis which is known as the effect analysis so basically the purpose of fmea is to eliminate or reduce uh, the failure on the basis of the severity guys because always always go with the severity if the severity is high we need to work first on that and low severity yes we can keep that in bucket for some time to focus more on the higher severity and this will also reduce the risk where there is a continuous improvement so this is all about the fmea definition let's move to the next part that where we can use the fmea fmea we will use when there is a process of product is design or redesign if that is the situation we will use the fmea it is also used before developing control plan for a new or modified process product or service for what is this control plan for an example you are working with one of the process that is in calling process and uh, uh, there are few things that is impacted a lot and you prepared a control plan on it control plan in the sense like uh, uh, i'll give you a good example here that is we are getting repeated escalations well, what is the reason on that so you prepared a plan for this that how you can control it in that also you may find few chances of getting defects errors because of process example why we are getting the escalation maybe the call is getting disconnected because of the technical issue maybe the call is getting disconnected because of the avaya issue i am only not focusing to the uh, to the functional or the system part you may get such kind of errors in the process also equipments also many more are there so at that particular level FMEA use when analyzing the failure of existing process product or service if you are analyzing that there is a hap failure happened there we can also use FMEA there as well and we can also help uh, take the help of FM FMEA when we are working on any improvements goal so this is all about the FMEA and where we can use it let's see uh, what are the type of FMEA we can do system FMEA if there is any failure you have identified in the system Second, design. If there is any uh, failure, you have identified in the design process. 
equipment function so these are the five types of fmea guys you need to work on you need to decide you need to say where is the failure i'm getting on on which i need to work on you will prepare pre and post plan and you can analyze that how how i can show in front of a manager that because of this that numbers are getting impacted or my scores is getting impacted there so in this way you can do that and the last i want to give you one more uh, understanding here that is rpn so this is also a part of uh, the FMEA guys that need to be calculated. Don't go with this calculation as of now guys. I will come up with another video wherein I will be giving you 4 to 5 examples how you can calculate the RPN. So RPN is a risk priority number guys which means it is a numerical assessment of the risk priority level of the failure mode or causes which is happening during the FMEA guys. Okay, if we are getting a number like under 112 then which means our severity is under the control and if it is more than that or 384 then uh, it is high severity guys the formula to calculate rpn is severity of the defect like uh, what kind of defect are we getting occurrence of the cause like how many times we got the same uh, uh, problem and detection of the cause how many times we have detected the same if we multiply this we will get the exact rpn number so this is all about the fmea and we will do this R uh, rpn calculation as well now how we can do the fmea first you need to determine like what is the failure in the system second you need to check the severity of it third you need to check the probability number of the assigning like uh, uh, how it got impacted and how many times it got impacted fourth assigning the detection number you need to see how many times it got detected then you will calculate the rpn number you will get to know either my FME what I'm doing is at the high severity or low severity. So this is all about the FMEA guys. So see our concept here is to clear your interview guys. So if you come up with any of the concern or any doubt or any question in your interview, you can just go with the video. You just explain the things in the way how I explain to you guys. If you do so, yes, definitely there will be no issue occurred. So this is all about FMEA guys. Uh, so please, if you have any doubt, any questions, please share your comments and feedback. And please check out our Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn page wherein multiple updates are there regarding the videos, vacancies which are ongoing for the quality trainer, operation team lead, associates for the different locations. Do subscribe and share the channel guys. Click on bell icon and don't miss that. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.